Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. If it's your first time here, then hi, my name is Roisin and I'm really glad that you clicked in this video. Today I am doing the next update for my 2024 project pan. Now, the same as the last update where I did updates number one and two in the same video, you're getting two for the price of one, you're getting updates three and four in this video. If you have missed the intro and the first two updates, I will link my playlist up in the eye so that you can go and watch this project from the beginning. I wasn't really planning to do another two-in-one update, but again, it's just been timing. I didn't get a chance to film this bit, like the chatty bit of update number three. But I feel like actually in a way it's maybe a bit more interesting because you're kind of getting two months of jump on them rather than just incremental changes by looking at it every month. So I might actually keep this format going with it through to the end of the year. Let me know if you have any strong feelings, you know, pro or objecting to that. Um, but yeah, let's get into this update. The first item to talk about is my facial spray. That has come down a fairly kind of equal amount every single update other than between the intro and update one when I must have got very enthusiastic with it. I'm happy with the progress. I'll probably be done within another two months which I'll be very very pleased about. This is the Origins Maskimizer spray. I don't think they actually sell this anymore but it was a spray that they released to use in conjunction with face masks. So in terms of my inventory it's under face masks in the category that it's in and um, even though it is more of a facial spray and I am using it more as just a general hydrating facial spray in terms of how I'm using it to get it used up. I'm really really glad that this is definitely going to be done before the end of the year unless something really drastic happens. I feel like my, my face mask category is quite a robust category in my inventory. It is one I'm trying to get down. I'm really looking forward to doing my June empties. I think I'll maybe try and do them one night this week actually in terms of the paperwork side because I feel like I've used quite a lot of face masks through the last quarter. So I say June empties, it's my quarter two empties it will be when it gets posted. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what impact those empties have on my current face mask total. Um, but even though I feel like I've probably used quite a few in quarter two, it's still a really big category in my inventory. So I will be glad to knock this out, not least because I have also had it for a hundred years at this point. So I'll be glad just to get it actually used up. Something I won't get used up is this. I thought I could finish this up within the project, started using it and realised that's definitely not going to happen. This is coming down very slowly. I've not made the decision in time for this update. I am considering rolling this out, even if I consistently use that to the end of the year, in terms of how slowly I'm moving down it. I'm not going to finish this. If I keep it in the project, I'll definitely get more use out of it than I would if I take it out of the project. So obviously there is that to consider, but I have an awful lot of like blow dry bams and like kind of blow dry products that are, are like mini ones that I haven't bought. I feel like maybe just in terms of trying to reduce the numbers, which is my overall goal for this year. My goals for 2024 are very quantity focused rather than value focused. So this is probably one of the more expensive ones in the inventory because it is a full size Whereas a lot of these other ones are minis, even if the brand itself is a premium brand, it's not a lot of product. So I'm kind of thinking maybe by the next update, I might actually roll this out and roll in one of the minis and then do it as like a rolling item and try and finish like two or maybe even three of those minis by the end of the year, rather than just plowing on with this and using it, you know, that consistent amount every month and bringing it down. But obviously it's not going to leave my inventory by the end of the year and because I'm using this I'm not going to use those products in addition it's a one or the other so I'm thinking maybe in terms of getting through more product I might roll this out and roll something in in its place. I'm not usually one for a rolling project pan I quite like to just have a, a stop on my projects you know once the item is finished that's that item finished for this project and then I can go back to just rotating through the rest of my collection rather than rolling something in but as I would be rolling this out early because I don't think I'm going to well I'm not going to hit the original goal of finishing it um but because I don't think even using this consistently through the rest of the year 
is going to help me with my overall goals because it's hindering me from using other products that possibly could get used up within the year. I am kind of leaning towards that but I've not made that decision yet. I've not like taken those products out and looked at what's there and decided what the right ones to roll in would be. So for now this is still in the project so I will have an update for it in the next update as well but I think I might be taking this one out. Let's go on to the makeup products. First of all, I've got my Romani Supreme Glow Reviving Tinted Cream. I don't really know for you guys, for the cutaways, how much you can really see here, but there's definitely not a lot of product left in this. Because it is in this opaque jar, I can't mark it or anything like that. But I definitely know when I hold it up like that, there's a lot less kind of to fall down and start kind of running and make an exit for the jar. I've been scraping from the sides, so I'm definitely, what's at the bottom is all that's left, you know, there's not a lot on the lid, or if you guys can see like the black at the sides, is because I've been taking the brush along that and picking that product up, so uh, I'm feeling quite good about this, I'm really really liking it, it's really pretty, it's a little touch too dark for me, but actually going into summer, that's not the worst thing. I am thinking about dabbling in fake tan again. I haven't dabbled in fake tan in about 10 years. I never really felt I suited it before. I never really got something that I thought looked believable on my pale skin. But I feel like the technology has probably come on and I'm, I'm prepared to dip my toe into it again. Not least because I got a bronzer in my 5x Fall project pan. If you've not seen that, I will link. And I'm finding using the bronzer makes me very aware of how pale I am and how much of a contrast it is. So I feel like maybe a little bit of fake tan might um, make using that product a bit easier. That would probably mean I could, because I have to be quite, I have to be quite light handed with this when I'm using it because it is that little bit too dark. Going into summer, my skin does get a little bit warmer anyway. And if I start dabbling in the fake tan, I feel like I will definitely finish this quite quickly. Even if I don't know, it'll definitely be finished by the end of the year. And I think I'll miss it actually when I use it up. Although I like had taken ages to use it, I've had it for ages because the packaging is dreadful so it doesn't sit in with my other foundation so I don't see it, I don't reach for it. Um, which was why I put it in this project to make me actively think about going for it and getting it used because it was a very expensive product. But I think I will actually miss it when it's gone. I won't repurchase it because the packaging is a hindrance, but the actual product is really beautiful. It's super glowy, very, very sheer coverage, just evens things out a little bit, but it's so, so pretty. So yeah, I think I will miss this when it's, uh, when it's gone, but it definitely will be gone within the project. Another thing I'm hoping will be gone is this, my Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Circle Perfector SPF 30. I have got this down to 10 grams left. I feel like given that includes the packaging, that hopefully means there can't be all that much left in here. It's such a runny product that I don't want to, I don't want to bet too closely on that. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this will be done within the project. If there's 10 grams now to include the packaging in the lid, then surely they have to account for most of that damage, so hopefully there can't be that much product left. <music> on to my cheap products, I have got my Marc Jacobs blush, so I have been tracking my uses on this. The aim is to use this 100 times within the project. In month one I used eight times, month two I used it 11 times. And in the last two updates, for month three, I used it six times, and for month four, I used it 12 times. So 12 plus eight is 20, plus 11 is 31, plus six is 37. So 37 away from 100 is 63. So I've got 63 uses left to hit the 100 in this. I'm not worried about doing that. I definitely need to step it up a little bit because I've got 63 uses and like July to December, so six months to achieve that, but yeah, as long as I don't have any more single figure usage months, should be okay. But in terms of the visual change, there's there's not really any, unfortunately. Certainly none that I feel the camera is picking up. There's maybe the tiniest bit of a dip 
starting to happen here. Whether that's going to be a pan by the end within another 60, what did I say, 63, within another 63 uses or not, I don't quite know. I'm not kind of prepared to bet on it because it's such a huge pan, but I am going to try and keep concentrating on starting the brush from here and that's what, I, I mean, that's what I've naturally been doing anyway to then have the dip start is I put the brush in here and then sweep along to the end so I'm going to continue using it that way even if we don't get pan I'm hoping like the dip will become a bit more apparent to the camera by the end hopefully 100 uses will be enough to see a little bit of pan fingers crossed To my highlight. This I think is my favourite item in the project because I feel like the visual progress in this has been really satisfying. Actually I didn't think that there was a huge gap between the last update and this update and then when I put the clips side by side I was like oh no there, there definitely is. So yeah that's been a really really satisfying one. I realise I'm quite bad for just jumping into telling you about the usage rather than introducing the product. It's the, the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. So as you can see it's looking pretty battered on the outside which mirrors how well used it's looking inside so I'm definitely hoping to still finish this within the year. There is a fair amount of product but it's all clinging to the edges now so we shall see. We'll see if we manage it but I am I'm feeling optimistic. I feel like we can do this. The last makeup item is my Lisa Eldridge lip gloss now. Originally I had put this on and I thought we'd be marking it down. This has been completely redundant because this is so opaque in formula that I'm not seeing it coming down. However, after being like there's no change between intro update 1 and update 2, by update 3 I very excitingly had a bit of windowing. Now it's not moved much between update 3 and 4, I'm having to kind of do that thing when I'm having to put the do that to get the product out the side can you guys can you see that now so the windowing is happening from where the um, doe foot applicator is being pushed to the side to pick up the product but yeah that means I've definitely used enough that I'm having to do that now there's still a lot of product in there now that I'm doing that like because it used to be that this was coming out and it was almost like completely empty and um, but you can see once I put it around the edges, it's still picking up plenty of product. So there's still loads of product to go before I would be like taking the stopper out and anything like that. But I am finally feeling a little bit motivated now that I can see that that windowing is happening and that progress is being made with this. So we'll see where we end up. I would like to finish it within the project. I don't know how realistic that is, but we'll keep using it and hopefully we'll see an empty one by the end of the year. My absolute fail product for this update is my Mon Guerlain shower gel. I'm going to be totally honest, I took this out the shower to film for update 3. So you've got intro, update 1, update 2, update 3 marked here. And I never put it back in the shower. It's literally sat on top of my little bureau there, that tray there has my project pan items on it and it's just sat there for a month. I have, I keep remembering once I'm in the shower that I need to put it back in the shower but yeah, as soon as I finish this I'm not going to tidy it back onto that plate, I'm going to put it into the shower and get using it again. So there's been absolutely no movement on this between update 3 and 4 but for update 3 it did come down a little bit and yeah, in terms of what's left I can definitely still finish this within the year. I just need to remember to actually use it. So that needs to happen between updates 4 and 5. The corresponding One Girl Anna perfume though I have been quite consistent with so 
that has come down another little drop. This was the intro update one. It came down quite a chunk. That was my most successful month. Update 2. Then it didn't come down much between update 2 and update 3. But update 3 and update 4, I have improved that a little bit. Still not as much as I did between the intro and update 1. But I think you'll see in my quarter 2 empties, I have finished up some perfume samples and things as well. So I've been concentrating on a couple of other bits just to get some empties boosted up a little bit. So yeah, I feel like although I've not got the usage on this, I can see where the usage has been in the rest of my collection. But I'm still, I'm not worried. I definitely think that I will finish this within the project without too much trouble. Still enjoying it. So it's a nice everyday perfume for work. And the last product to update you on is my Beauty Pie Foot Cream. Now, I gave a big spiel during the last update about how I needed to do my foot peel before I would start using this and that I was finding it difficult to find a time to get that in. So I didn't get it in between update 2 and 3. So in update 2, it was at 49 grams after starting at 56 in the intro, 50 in update 1 and 49 in update 2. So in update 3 I hadn't used it at all so it was still at 49 grams but by update 4 it's now down to 41 grams. Um, I feel like I'm back on track and I will definitely be able to finish this within the project. It's a really really lovely foot cream. I know that's such a random thing to have a strong feeling on but I really do like this one. If you are looking for a foot cream this one is beautiful. It's not like uncomfortably thick but it's thick enough that you know that you've got it on. It feels you know texture wise like you know you've put something on and you definitely can't see the difference when you use this consistently it's very very effective so a bit of a random one but definitely a recommendation from me if you're looking for a foot cream this is one I would highly recommend and one that I would like to repurchase it's a bit of an awkward one because it's a beauty pie one and I don't really want to buy a beauty pie membership to buy a foot cream but it is probably the best foot cream I've ever used so yeah, it is what it is, but if you have a Beauty Pie membership, this is so worth checking out. That is everything for updates 3 and 4 for my 2024 project pan. As I said, I have now also started my 5x fall project pans. So if you like project pan content, I will link that one up on the end card if you want to go and watch that as well. The next update to that will also be coming your way soon. And I will of course be doing my 12 pans of Christmas near the end of the year. I don't know about you guys, I'm such, I love Christmas so much. Now that we're getting into July, I'm like, oh, like we're on the countdown. Um, my birthday is in July and I feel like as soon as my birthday's done I'm just like right it's Christmas time now talk to me about Christmas so yeah I know for a lot of people it's probably blasphemous to mention the Christmas word in June um, but yeah I am super super excited but in terms of project fan content there will be more of that coming your way in the countdown to Christmas as well as the main project pan and my five by fall going on at the moment so if you do enjoy project pan content and you haven't subscribed already i would love if you would hit the subscribe button but yeah thank you very much for watching this video i really appreciate you spending this time with me and i will see you in my next one bye <laughs>